So now they said breaking news, breaking news. So now word on the curb. They basically said no prenup and no settlement. They finally have filed for divorce. We all knew it was coming. We were just waiting for it. It's only a matter of time that they were going to divorce. And now it's here. You know, I also had to find a photo that I had of Hennifer and pull it up. <laughs> so they say Hennifer Lopez has done what seemed inevitable. She's filed for divorce from Ben Affleck, TMZ has learned, but there's there are major twists, including the symbolism of when she finally decided to do it. Now, Hennifer filed legal docs on Tuesday, so she did it today, child, in L.A. County Superior Court, but they were not filed by a lawyer. Hennifer filed pro, per meaning by herself and without an attorney. So Miss Thing went and walked her ass up in the courtroom and was like, I'm Throwing on my Louboutins, and I'm getting rid of this heifer. But child, I ain't got a prenup. So the question remains, who got the most coin, and are y'all splitting y'all money? Since Especially since y'all got married. And did they get married in California? I know they got married in Vegas, in front of the Justice of the Peace, and I think there was an Elvis involved. But um, there was also, I think they did a secondary wedding with the family, you know, with the big, the big blowout wedding in LA. So they said the list that she lists the date of separation as April 26, 2024. The couple got married in Las Vegas on July 16th, 2022. However, today, August 20th, it's also very significant in Benefer lore. This marks the second anniversary of the huge and more traditional wedding ceremony they held in Georgia. Oh, at the plantation. So it hardly seems like a coinky dink Jen filed today. I said Kawiki Dink. They didn't say that. They said coincidence. Now, here's the real shocker. Shocker did. Shocker. <laughs> Let me stop fucking up the words on purpose and just be serious. Now, here's the real shocker. They said Hannaford does not say in the docs whether there's a prenup, and sources would now tell TMZ there is indeed no prenuptial agreement. Would you a damn fool? I don't care how in love I am with somebody. If I'm worth $400 million and I'm talking about Hannaford and he's worth under $200 because they said he's like worth, I believe I'll say on the safe side, $130 million. You best believe I'm getting a damn prenup. But look at you, you colored people running around here going hard for these white men and look at him. He going to clean her ass out. They said that would mean whatever earnings or profit Ben and Jen made during their nearly two years of marriage is community property. For instance, since they tied the knot, Ben started an air in Hypnotic, and he also produced The Instigators. He also just wrapped filming The Accountant 2 a few days ago. As for Hennifer, during their marriage, she had Shotgun Wedding, The Mother, This Is Me Now, and Atlas. What's shocking, this is Hennifer's fourth marriage and Ben's second, and you would think a prenup would be more than obvious. Apparently, they thought this was a forever marriage, and I think that is exactly why she ain't divorced him. She was like, oh, yeah, well, I f this is me. <laughs> That's what she thought, child. She thought, this is us forever. We're not getting a divorce because I got my happily ever after. And now I ain't got to worry about it. And look at you, two years later, y'all filed for divorce. This is why I don't give a damn if we're going to be married for two days, two years, or 200 years. I'm getting a prenup. And you would think that Hennifer would be smart in that way. But she's in love. She loves love. No, you a dummy. And this will learn you. But then again, if this is your fourth marriage and you still ain't learned your lesson, you the problem. So they said, according to the dogs, Hennifer waves spousal support and is asking the judge to deny Ben such support as well. Well, could is that even a possible, especially when um, y'all didn't sign a prenup? But they said since they did not have children together, there are, there are no custody issues. Now, for the big final twist, you would think everything has been hashed out money-wise before she filed, but our sources say it's not the case. TMZ broke the story. They put their marital home in Beverly Hills up for sale. Ben bought his own house in Brentwood, and she's currently looking for a new house as well. As was reported, they have been trying to hash out their settlement for months, and the, our sources say those talks are continuing, but they have become increasingly acrimonious to the point at times they're not even speaking to each other. So why did Hennifer decide to file when there's still a battle over money? Well, even though it doesn't matter legally who files first is in a no-fault state. They said legally who files first in a no-fault state. Sometimes PR concerns are involved 
when it comes to who files first. So this is the beginning. We finally got a, a date, a point of entry that she filed that she literally is going forth with it, which I'm shocked. I thought he would have did it. But Ben gives me very much like, stagnant like he just whatever dude like he gives me very much that like he just gonna go with the flow whatever the case is and that'll be that and she's basically gonna put it forward like okay well if you're not willing to meet me halfway you're not willing to work this marriage out i'm not just gonna sit around and we're just gonna be like willis will and jada smith we ride together we die together bad couple for life or whatever the hell it was that they said so y'all gonna be staying stuck in a miserable ass marriage to each other living in separate homes and all this other stuff because y'all too damn cheap to get a damn divorce because neither one of y'all got a prenup so Hannah was like whatever i'll just have to take the loss and i'll just have to work my ass off to gain that 400 million back if it does happen that okay because i don't have a prenup that Y'all do have to walk away or split whatever the case is when it comes to what y'all worked on post your marriage. She did a couple of projects. He did a couple of projects. Or if they could amicably walk away and say, you know what? I'm going to let you keep your money. I'm going to keep my money. We'll just go our separate ways and that'll be that. And so um, I say all this is saying, this is unfortunate. We all knew it was coming. It was just only a matter of time when we was going to be like, okay, so when is the shoe going to drop? And yeah, that's that. So let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments. I definitely want to hear what y'all have to say about this whole handle for divorce situation. And um, are you are you surprised? I guess nobody's surprised. Look, not even Ray Charles, and he blind and dead. So let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments down below.